Hi meddlers and welcome to Resistance the Fall of Man. Now I'm playing this one because I've just completed uh, for my other series is Resistance 3 and uh, that was fantastic. So I want to go back to the original one to see where the story kick started. For this game I'm just going to do a let's play. I'm just going to do one episode just to see what it's all about and see how things evolved over time. And it could be quite interesting. Let's find out. I mean I want to know about this Nathan Hale guy for instance. He got killed off. We didn't even see him in the third one because the story progressed quite a bit. I want to see how this Chimera has uh, evolved as well. How do they um, exist and how they breed or whatever. How do they get humans to evolve into them. So that would be quite an interesting one. Hopefully we'll see that in this uh, first uh, game. Because I've never played this first one. But it's the first game I think that was released on the PS3 or one of the launch titles anyway. So let's see what happens. Oh great geography, that's what happens. I'll be going in Russia then, that's good. Virus is unknown, so we still don't know. Devastating Swift, yes, we know that from the third game. Oh, it's all spreading, look at that, it's like the plague. Okay, yeah, that looks bad, that looks like a fire broke out there, not bloody hell, fire London again. Yeah, they probably have, every country's developed a weapon of some sort. Yeah, stay still for a while, couldn't stay behind. For long night. Way, let's have a game. Here we go, and we're safe. We're well away from that lot. Iceland's laughing at everybody up there. Okay, here we go. All oh, ink wells splattered everywhere. Oh, here we go. So much for the Channel Tunnel. They encouraged them over. <laughs> Even that. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yes, go you Chimera, uh, Chimera, whatever you pronounce it. They might as well, I don't need the Chimera there to do that. Oh, that's what he looks like. I was told about him in the third one, but he didn't exist, he's obviously dead. Way by the third game. Yeah, he probably ran, ran home to his mother. Yeah, it's not really going to help you on a situation like this. I think we need more firepower than a bloody weapon knifey thing. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'm not going to survive very long in this outfit. Bloody hell, it's like jelly ice, jelly sea or something now, I don't know. That's weird. I suppose it's an old game, so that's what you've got to expect, so that's pretty good going, really. So this was a launch title or something with the PS3, but um, I wouldn't know because I didn't buy the console straight away. I never buy consoles when they first come out because they always go wrong over heat, like the Xbox Red Ring of Death I heard about, so I waited a couple of years. Bring whatever you want, we've got our own for goodness sake, oh the brash, hate that. Oh, they supply this, they supply that, okay. We've got our own stuff here. Oh, what a nice place to meet up. Hope the game isn't based in Manchester. Nothing wrong with it, but... <sighs> I suppose it makes a change of being stuck in London again. Yep, he's a sole survivor and the main character of this game, I take it. Yes, he is. Uh, winch him down. That's a nice light fiery effect then. The Gauntlet Operation Deliverance. York, England. Okay. That's a nice little village, town. Nice. Straight in the action. That's it. Let's just go. Come on. Okay, let's run. Let's blast the heck out of these guys because we don't want them to make it to the third sequel. Let's try and nip it in the bud now. Yeah, okay, you're not going to the next sequel. He's dead, good. Next one, that's the one less for the next game. Carbon 1, this is 1 4. Mobile contacts, We've got nothing but flak. Ah, great. God, there's a lot of going on here. They look a bit more basic than the third one. Things have moved on. It's a bit um, more staged, this one. It's like a more of a map. You feel like you're closed in more than the other game. But this is like, imagine this is the first one, so this is pretty good. Always a lot to do around here. See, there's only one way you can go. And saying that, I'm probably lost now, aren't I? I think that's what's happening here. 
Got no regenerative health either, so got to be careful with that. Ouch, okay, and then we burn him myself, so that really fastens my death up, doesn't it? That's great, that is. Could really do without that right now. Yeah, when we was playing the third resistance, we was like destroying a radio tower or something, or it was it was a tower off by disabling the terraform or something like that. So that was quite interesting to close a wormhole to stop like New York freezing over and then taking right over, I suppose. So in this one, this want to see the beginnings of them, how they all exist. That'd be quite good. Let's hope we see enough anyway. So I'm only making this one episode because uh, I've. It's going to seem basic compared to playing the third one and uh, see how the gameplay goes. It really impresses me. I'll play it to the end. But, I mean, look at this at the moment. I'm not sure if I want to play it all the way through. Because there's other games I really want to play from start to finish. So, see how it goes. There's plenty of action in this. That's good. That's great. <laughs> I say. Hold L2 to crouch. Lovely. I don't want to crouch right now. I split my trousers. Decent exposure. I'll get a ticket slapped on my ass. That's what happened. Get all these community officers come around. I oh, forget us. Not we're not we're in a different era now, aren't we? So I can do that safely. I can spit on the roads as well and don't get a ticket. That'd be interesting. Oh, and they can smoke. Oh, you can smoke anywhere, can't you? Still. Okay, I'm too busy yapping and I'm just died. Oh, I like the death scene. It's a nice like old f aged photo effect, video camera. Yeah, another thing. Why isn't this in black and white? Because the video cameras weren't around in colour back then. The cameraman that's following me round. Well, I'm the cameraman here, aren't I? God, they don't give up, do they? Bloody hell. This actually seems harder than the bloody um, third one. I thought the third one was bloody hard. So, <laughs> there's a lot of hope for me, isn't there? I said, there's a lot more gunpowder, these uh, come here as well. They just, they just don't give in. I mean, look at this guy up here. He keeps throwing fragmented pieces at me, and look. How many shots is that to the face? That's got to be like 15 shots or something. And he, sh he shot him as well, but he probably missed him and everything, so uh, you can't rely on the computer. AI. Oh, what's around here? Health packs, is there? Oh, yeah. Lovely. He's hiding. And my point exactly. You can't trust the AI. They don't participate well at all. Just to make your life like hell. In the third one, the AI was terrible. They just didn't really assist you. They just sort of followed you around everywhere. And they, when they led the way, got to an enemy, and then they just ran off. So <laughs> and that's supposed the third one. So what's this one going to be like? Well, this is quite impressive, though. I must admit, if I got this on my like PlayStation three years ago, and it come out, I'd be yes, this is brilliant. The good thing of this is you don't have to pay much for this game, being like so old now. So it's a good thing. I just like to keep check on old games that I haven't played. Cause as it's like nearly game on the PlayStation 3 I haven't played before, I thought I've got to see what it's like. Don't miss anything, so if it was brilliant I'll play it all the way through, so... But at the moment I probably won't. <laughs> There's loads of games I probably haven't tried. I'm going to say like the death of the PlayStation 3 when the PS4 comes out, but I'm going to give it a few months or maybe a year before I get the PS4. It depends. I just don't want to have a load of trouble with it, I'd have to send it away. For like service repair or something, like overheating or can't connect to some service or something. Like the Xbox are problems that I've mentioned before, so I might just reminisce over some of these old games. There's so many out there, I'm just going to have a good old fun journey with them all. It's nice to record them for myself as well, mainly for people watching, but it's just nice to see what I've done and what scenarios you've faced with and characters you've met across the way. And I mean, yeah, it'd be quite fun looking back at what games I've played, I suppose. Instead of having them in memory. I mean, I can remember playing the early, really early games, like the Tomb Raider games, but... It'd be nice to record them back in the day when I was, like, overwhelmed by the... the intenseness of them, even back then, even though they look shockingly bad now. I mean, they haven't aged very well, but... I mean, this game looks like it's ageing well. It does show it's aged, though, I must admit, actually. It's not just the era it's set in, or the, the greyness about it, it's just, uh, just a bit blocky, isn't it? It's like it's one set path, and it's like it's like in a maze or something. It wasn't much better when we played the third resistance, I mean, there was a lot of nice graphics and everything. The world seemed massive, but I think they just used like smoky mirrors or something, some effects to make it appear bigger than it was. And there was like invisible walls, so I was using the old tricks for the trade, really. 
I mean, you get lost to a point, but there's only one way you could go. So, it's a massive world, but yeah, it's a bit like this really, but they just found new ways of hiding things. Oh, this is dodgy. Oh, there's a setup here. What's this? Oh, bullseye. I remember that weapon nicely. Lovely. Nice uh, drawing, I like that. Wish you could blow the car up, that'd be good. I must remember the controls on this. I mean, it's hard enough, I couldn't remember the third game, the controls on that. So this one's like learning all over again, and they're not much different, I don't think. Of course, there's no doors you can run in, there's no pubs you can go into, there's no nightclubs here, there's no cellars you can even go in. And again, has there been stairs in this one? Because I had a lot of things about stairs in the other game, the third game. The stairs are always broken and stuff, and you can barely go up them, I don't know why. Oh, there we go, that was just nasty, wasn't it? Oh well. A nice splatter, that's the main thing. Great stuff. Nice effects again. Ah, oh, this health bar is just drained so quickly. It's like there's a hole at the bottom of a barrel and there's water pouring out. It's just like craziness. Well, they slow down. Again, the way for me to take the lead so I get blasted in the face. Hasn't changed the technology really. <laughs> Playing the third one now is the, is the same as this. That, that side of it, AI wise. They're a lot harder in this game, the enemies, I'm sure of it. The Chimeras are just. You just you just can't defeat them straight away. So I thought someone threw something then, that's just a bit of debris, I think. Yeah, that car's been blown up. Why well, can't I blow them up? That's a bit off. Okay, new grounds here. What's going on around here? It's like a university around here. Some graveyard, is it, or something around here? Haven't been to York, so I don't know. God dear me. A bit of blood on the face, not a lot. Considering I've been shot at a lot, oh, no, I'm going to die again. Look at this. My health bar is going through the mill at the moment. Is <laughs> there way you can revive it? I mean, I haven't really picked up any health packs. It's really stingy on that my front. It's nothing. Not even a bloody bandage. I'm for goodness sake, I know on rations and stuff, but that's just a joke. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, that's nasty, you little bugger. Why are they just waiting around there anyway? Why would they just stand around in a field all bloody day? Like they're expecting you. It's like they're scripted to do something. You know, you'd think this would be a game, wouldn't you, the way it's scripted about like that? Oh dear. Oh, I thought I was going to get stabbed on the fence then and get hung up on something. Hung up on this game so far, I don't know what to think about it at the moment, really. It's okay. I think I prefer, um, I'll play that Wolfenstein, it return to Castle Wolfenstein on one of the, I can't remember which version, which Wolfenstein it was, but I preferred that to, to this so far. So, see how it goes. So I love my first person shooters, but just not grabbed me enough yet, this one. What's going on now? If I completed it, I played the old short games back then. Yeah, okay, what the hell is it? Yeah, I want to know now. Oh great, it's mothballs or something. Ah, that's alright. It's just fleas or beetles or something, I don't know. That's alright, I've lived with them before. Don't do that though, usually. No one knows exactly how Hale was infected by the Camaran virus. Oh, here we go. The big money shot. Covered from the body of a US medic. It says that he encountered a number of comatose soldiers in a dry creek bed. Ho <laughs> One of the soldiers, a sergeant, suddenly woke up. <gasps> and he's a zombie. Soldiers, his body had no wounds at all. Yeah, he's a zombie. Used any kind of medical examination, insisting well, we can't say a lot when he's like that. If that sergeant was in fact Nathan Hale, oh, here we go. Bloody folklore. To wake up after being infected. Whether the Camaran virus mutated within him, or whether his body yeah, most probably. resistance to it remains a mystery. Oh, for goodness sake, a mystery. If it's a mystery to you, it's a mystery to everyone, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. I'm on my own again. A lone survivor. I wonder what that entails. Being slaughtered to death. No help whatsoever. Oh, but what is with the cameraman? He keeps dropping the bloody camera and he's like taking the lens cap off and it's focusing still. For goodness sake. Ah, oh, here we go. So, what do we do now then? Follow this yuppie, I suppose. He had any basic training, I hope he has, because he's got a lot of help me here. What are these little beastie things, anyway? 
Are they going to do anything? Can I make friends with these? No, obviously not. I wish I could bloody pet them or something. Do a deal with them. What's that? Tendrils floating about after that. Sort of moving debris or something. I don't know. The hell are the Brits? I don't know. Keep forgetting I'm with Americans here. Well, I'm an American character here, aren't I? Oh, lovely. I do like that. I do like that effect all running over the top of the building. That's good. Yeah, come on. Bite my gonads off a of deer. Oh, I've got to help him too. He gets attacked. Oh, that's fantastic. That's good. That's quite advanced AI, actually. I quite like these little buggers. Yeah, he's getting. Yeah, that's quite good. He's getting slaughtered. Oh, good. My health is regenerating to a point. I see. So if you don't like totally empty a block, and that can't block or regenerate. I see. So the third one's just regenerating at the moment. So totally out of the fourth one. That's a nice little idea. It might actually help me survive a bit longer. Then again, they just make the enemies harder now, won't they? They just can't resist making it hard, this game. What's going on? Oh, bloody hell. Lawnmower in his arse. Okay. Whew. Bloody hell, two of them now. Bloody hell. Not used to have all this company. It's only me and bloody Charlie in the third one, most of the time. That bloody doctor, whatever he was, he was a load of rubbish. He'd, like, he'd go on a journey with you and he'd lock himself in cabins all the bloody time. One was on the train and then on the boat ride on the Mississippi River he just kept himself locked in the cabin so I was getting slaughtered outside. I didn't, did not get that. You think I'd have a little pistol or handgun or just have a little walking stick and crack over their heads or something. But no, I'd left to my own devices so it's nice to have two characters that actually can fight for themselves. I'd like to baby them around the course although I don't have to act like I'm stupid and go right, like, follow me, go this way, jump up here, use your hand, use your fist, use your foot and get that out of your arse and carry on fighting. Oh god, there's a hotel up there, it's all boarded up. Okay. Nice little hotel. And, uh, I mean, what the hell is that hotel for sewage works to it? I suppose there must be so many guests there, they must can't deal with their shit. These bloody journals, though, I mean, in the third game they've still got these things, can't they think of anything better to have? Why don't they just, like, chat through these journals or something? Have a voiceover, but no, they want to save disk space, I suppose. It's all gone quiet at the moment for some reason. So let's stop all that and make some noise. Can't blow the windows out. I'm not even going to try. I know what it's going to do. It's just going to rebound off, aren't I? Probably can't do anything. Ah, oh, same old house again. I've got plenty of stairs in this place anyway. Not like the other game. Didn't have stairs many. Not many staircases. All busted half the time. What's this about? Ah, oh, some collectibles. This game hasn't got any trophies, it's too old anyway. I don't know if they actually uh, made trophies for this in the end, because you know a lot of games, they go platinum or I don't know, something, don't they? They add the um, trophies onto them, but there's no sign. I, must admit, I don't think I actually connected this to the internet, this PS3, so it didn't do any updates to check for the latest version, so I wouldn't know if there was any trophy additions to this anyway, so never mind. I'll have to look that up now, see if there are any additions to trophies. Oh, he's oh, he bent over then, didn't he? He has now. He's all gold. They use the same weapons all the bloody time, these enemies. Yeah, you little git. He doesn't know where he's shooting, really, nor do I. I made for each other. Come on, I want to see the factory where they produce these chimeras or whatever. Or seeds they spray about. I don't know what they do. I want to see how humans get this disease. Whatever they do to them. Oh, come on, Chimeras, let me out. Oh, it's going to take ages to get to this bloody factory, isn't it? It's going to be like a journey to the Willy Wonka factory, this is. Without the fun. Can't eat along the way. Okay. And a nice tile floor. There's a load of that tiling going on. Bloody the grouting on that. Bloody hell, must have taken ages. How many weeks would it take to do that floor? I don't know. Ooh. Okay, I'm not sounding off. Okay, that's it. Shout your mouth off so they can hear me. And they know who I am now. Baker 12. Oh, is that supposed to be funny? I thought Baker's dozen. Baker 12. I'm thinking Baker's dozen now. That's 13. Well done. All baker units. Okay, what do you mean ovens? So all ovens got to meet you then. Bakey units. I like that. Bakey units. <laughs> I like the lingo. 
Makes me think of other things. It takes my mind off the game and then I lose. Bloody little git, it's moving too much. God, they do move fast, don't they? They, I suppose they glided more back then. They didn't actually walk, so I suppose they can move faster when they can glide. When there's no real animation. Well, there is, but... You know what I mean? Cheating animation. They just like... It's like on an ice rink more than actually uh, walking properly, so they can get away with things. Sandbags, Mr. Sandbag. All oh, it's a bloody... Uh, what do you call it over there? Nice sea thing. Can you ride that tank, I wonder? Let's find out. I don't know, I don't know the names of tanks that are what or something, I don't know. I have no idea of my history or anything. Second... I thought it said, check, I thought it said second chav to come on then. No, it's not a chav. What's your king one? You'll find another way into the depot. You have to find another way. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, man. Uh, bloody hell, I still can't shoot them straight. Bloody hell. What the hell, that is powerful, man. The only thing is very hard to control and I'm stuck on something now. I'm trying to drive over the mid door of the road and it's just not going anywhere. Oh well. I think I got stuck already. That's great. Oh, it just makes me stuck to rock actually. Yeah, I'm going to have to blow things up first. Now again, in the third game, in the last instalment, there's no bloody weapons. Uh, not weapons, there's no vehicles or nothing. This is fantastic. Now, every game I love vehicles in. That's why I talked about Tomb Raider bloody earlier. When I played Tomb Raider 2, in the first uh, PlayStation 1, I was in Venice, riding that boat down the canals. That was bloody fantastic, that was. That speedboat, it just, I was in awe of that game. Couldn't believe it. And it's the same with this. I'm, I can't believe this. This is wonderful. I mean, why didn't I have this in the third one? It's just simple, but effective. I just love simple things. This is nice, blowing things up. Oh yeah, this is brilliant. I could do this all day, I hope there's loads of missions for this thing. What the hell? That's it, blow him sky high. And there's more bloody buggers. Oh bloody hell. Those extras did their job well, didn't they? They must have had a cup of tea this morning. What the hell was he doing, you little git? Whoa, that is brilliant. Now this is what I call action. That'd be on the movie set right now. But you get to pick your own dialogue this time. Not. Okay, I'm the baker. I'm going to get the oven to the depot. Oh, for goodness sake. I wish you stopped talking. I'm trying to concentrate here. Blowing things up. You can't blow things up precisely. Boys, a little kid is going. They're too easy to blow up. You should have a couple of hits, I reckon. I mean, it. Come here, fair enough, they fly a body against a rocket. I don't think it's going to go very far, is it? It's not a rocket, whatever I'm firing. Bloody cannonballs, I don't know. <laughs> what am I firing out of this? Just normal gunpowder crap. What was a tree? Lovely tree. I like that tree. It's nice and fine. Oh, look, I find this on the twigs, that's good. So I'm trying to look at a tree, do you mind? Goodness sake. What was that box on fire anyway? Crate, who set that on fire? Some smoke, I doubt. I bet. I love the goldiness. It matches. I like the user interface, all gold bars, and the, the tank, sort of a greeny, but just a bit gold in this sort of video. Oh, it's green now. Just the sunlight hitting it. City of York. Wonderful. It was in good nick considering we're blowing it to pieces, and I'm having another seizure. This game gets an A plus the way the story is told, I like this. Just love the artwork and sort of reminds me of Max Payne the way it's been told. A little bit. Yeah, let's put some locks on it, let's lock it down. Get the padlocks out, we'll secure it. Is that what they mean? Spires. That, that caught me out. I've had to edit some of this. It's always just press start. I didn't realise. I was just waiting there ages. <laughs> and the screen's just been there. So I've had to like cut probably about a minute of footage out of that screen. Just saying press start. It's ridiculous. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <sighs> well, will you help me later if I get you out of that situation? Oh, for goodness sake. I mean, look at that. I mean, I shot him bloody in the face. Never mind. See how you can't. Even I just don't know. They're just too hard, this enemy. I mean, 
close up range, shoot them like that, and I end up getting killed first. I mean, they had more bullets in them than I did. He died easy for some reason. Machine guns, I don't want to go down there then. Good luck with that. I'm going to find a mini game to play right now. Oh, they did have mini games back then, did they? I don't think. <laughs> oh, I wish we could do a mini game or side mission to take mind off this one. God, there's things flying about here. Oh, they're clever. He ran from that grenade as well. Uh, get to him before he gets to that bloody machine gun. Oh, this ain't too harsh, is it? Got full health. And why is that? I'll start using that bloody machine gun and they get behind you. He's now watching my back, that's why. One down, yes, the one I took down. Bloody hell, he's firing at that speed, isn't he? Oh, there's a machine gun over there, that's one there, but where's the other one? Yeah, that's one behind that building, isn't there? From that hut. Yeah, it's in there. I wonder why, that's rapid fire then. I was thinking, that's a bit fast for their Chimera weapons. Using their own weapons against us now, that's what they're doing. That's bang out of order, mate. Bang out of order. Crate, it's a tea crate. We love our tea, so that's probably what it was. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can use this against them now. Well, hey, not very accurately, but... Yes. One to go. Well, why don't you kill one? Make it fairer. Work as a team. I suppose I could have blown that bloody gas can I saw back then, a petrol can, oil can, whatever it was. Didn't think about that, never mind. Tactics down the drain. I don't shoot up these nice buses. For goodness sake, all the board them. Whoa. Come on. Ah, oh, you little git, you got to that bloody thing, didn't you? Ha ah. Has I survived that? I don't know. My regenerative health is really helping me at the moment. I'm really glad because I would have been dead by now. For goodness sake, oh, it looks a bit rough. Oh, for goodness sake, you're trying to sneak up there. Don't get on that, you little bugger. Why did I let him get on that? At least he died this time from shooting him in the head. Defensive positions. Oh, what? North and east walls. Give me south and west. Oh bloody hell. I don't know which directions we're in anyway, I have to look at the bloody map probably. Okay, what's going on now? Oh, I don't care what wall. Oh, never mind. Who cares about a wall? Because I'm not alive anymore. I don't exist in this world. I'm gone forever. Time to come back. We all regenerated. Ah, oh, we're back to the beginning again. No, not quite. Well, I want to know as well, come on. Oh, that takes a mick. How far back have they put me in this game? Far back enough, haven't I? Oh, for goodness sake. That's one thing then I'm going to find in this game. The save points are too far away. For goodness sake. So if you fail the level, you're going to have to sort of redo lots and lots of it again. Don't like that at all. But then again, you might find different ways of doing things, completing it, so maybe they had that in mind when developing this game. Yeah, I wonder. Okay, I'll just start blowing things up now. Oh, the car blew up. That's nice. That does blow up. Yes. Oh dear, that didn't help, did it? Didn't do anything. Just obscured everything. Obscure my face now, won't you? That's what he's doing. Oh, he's obscuring something. You little bugger. He's not dying. What is wrong with him? Is he just... Ugh, I don't know. What's wrong? Oh, for goodness sake. It's all getting through. Look at that. How many bullets are detailed? It's still up. Look like I fell down. He got up again, little bugger. Okay, that's getting too intense now. Let's regenerate. Is that... Come on, speed that. Regenerate. Thank you. So I've only just twigged then. The actual Chimera must regenerate too. To a point. Anyway, they're health. So that's why they're pretty hardy, aren't they? And they've got obviously a higher strain of the Chimera and blood in the whatever they've got, so they've got a pretty better protection than what we've got. So if I've got a bit of Chimera in me, and I can regenerate, they must be like doing it double speed. What are the bullets coming from? Uh, okay, that's it, come on. Last one, is it? Maybe. I get confused. As I have to restart from another checkpoint, I don't know how far, how many of these I've got to kill now. Oh, can it? Like we didn't know before anyway, so... That bus is dirty, is that rusted as well? It's all broken down horrible, isn't it? Bloody hell. Oh, there's another one, for goodness sake, just die and go away. Get on my nerves this format now. <sighs> yeah, 
yes. Oh, nice. I like scraps and bad smells anyway. I miss that in pubs. Don't get that since the smoking ban stopped. That started, I should say. More hostiles to the west. They're coming around that fuel station. Lovely. Might as well come from every bloody direction. Make it interesting for us. That tea crate again. That's not what is in there. <sighs> hostiles. They're hostile. Yes, I'd say they are. Yeah, too hostile for their own bloody good here. Don't get on that bloody gun again, you git. For goodness sake, why are they with the bloody guns all the time? I have to bloody spend ages getting to one. It's thrown fireworks in my face. He feel we can do that because he is the master of killing, isn't he? Because he's still alive. For goodness sake, that is ridiculous. I mean, look how much firepower I was giving that guy. It wasn't even hitting him. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Hate that poor other guy, you know that. Defend the bus, step out. Okay, if I have to keep redoing this like a million times over, I'm going to be playing something else. <laughs> now, patience is the key, I suppose. What is that coming from? That's what a laser or something. Or was that just a break up in the graphics? Then I don't know. That's a laser. Oh, see, that's in the wrong direction. Wake up, ladies. I'm not a lady. I'm not a lady. I'm a whore. <laughs> the whore of the war. I like killing everybody. Letting everybody in and killing them. Oh dear. That. Letting everybody in and not killing them is the case actually. And my health bar is like slaughtered already. For goodness sake, it doesn't take long to get it straight down to two, and it would have been down to one if I didn't hide behind this wall. They're going to make a run for these machine guns again, aren't they? That's what they're going to do. They're going to get right down. Whoa, massive blow up. Yes, I hit the right can this time. Oh, jumping down there real quick. A lot quicker in this game than the third game. Again, that's what I say, it's the animation I've looped, I think. They're missing a few steps, I think, when they're walking. I was doing the moonwalk sometimes. Yeah, he was doing the moonwalk than he was. Bloody hell. Maybe they've got Michael Jackson to choreograph this game, you never know, do you? I suppose if he was in debt, he might have done. Which he was. Where the hell is it, everybody? Can hear my like comrades' voices and stuff over radio, but you just don't see them ever. It's like they're all pretty playing cards, saying, "Ah, let, let the new guy do everything. He's got that come here and blood in him. Can't trust him. Let him slaughter his own kind now. They're his new buddies. Let them all stab each other in the back." Oh, for goodness sake! There was fire on the ground and everything. It's another trap lane for me. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that, because look at my health bar. So no it doesn't regenerate all to four bars, and where are we going now? Seizure! Pfft, keep it, I don't want it. Is that a pizza top has any? Incoming. Incoming! Oh, I don't stand a chance against them things, do we? For goodness sake, what's the point of protecting everything? It's inevitable, is that? Okay, this don't look good. This reminds me of War of the Worlds now. Oh, so they're spires. I was thinking a spire of a cathedral or something. Yeah, great stuff. Oh, they look nice. They're like parasites you find in your bed. Not in my bed, honestly. Honestly. Oh, dormant victims. That is War of the Worlds, for goodness sake. Ah, that's what happens. Conversion centres, lovely. Grimsby. Oh, bloody hell, this is... this is bad, this is dark. Fate's worse than death. Come here and conversion centre, yes. We're going to see how it all operates now. And get in the minds of these social psychopaths. Bloody hell. Oh, is that vice? A workbench over there who's got or something. What is that? Oh, not that advanced this breed, are they, really? Okay, that is just like a beauty salon. That's, that's the thing that they do in supermarkets, they put cash up through a tube, that's what that is. And he's just a old man in dungarees or something. 
that working in like an old mechanics warehouse or something? Whoa, bloody hell, I don't like this guy. What is he feasting on me for? Get a can of tin of canned beef or something. It's better tasting. Oh. For goodness sake, why do they do that? It's got other things to think of now. Why well, all come here and do that? I think that's more fun, that biting you. At least they show some emotion. At least they're actually part of trying to make contact with you instead of through lasers. Whoa. Okay, this is dark as it gets. So what do we do now? I suppose I'm gonna be I'm gonna see someone getting tortured now, aren't I? Gonna be converted into something. Not converted into a religion or anything. Is this is a bank safe or something, or is that just a canister? You just can't tell where we are at the moment. Well we know where we what sort of place it is, but just alien technology, isn't it, I suppose. Crafted into our buildings. They look like little pens where you put hamsters or something. I wouldn't know, so I haven't got any, but... Yeah, that's kind of like a submarine door now in a ship or something. Can't turn them things. Or oh, spark box, do I use that? Nope, that's buggered. Did I shoot that earlier? I don't know. I must have caught something. There we go. Ah, yes, interact with switches. I like that. Old-fashioned, I like that. Oi, mate, over here. Get the hell out of here. Crawlers, yes! Shoot the console, yeah, shoot the Xbox One. Yeah, of course you are. Boring name. Yeah, they did. I suppose she's going to keep talking now till we both die. Okay, she's got a way out. What about me? Sorry, Looks like you'll have to find your own way out. Oh, charming that is, for goodness sake. Do you want my help if she didn't get out? Bloody hell. Well, he doesn't really look perplexed, does he? Not really, I'd be interested. I want to go in there myself. They showed unmistakable Camaran traits. I can't forgive them for looking like a zombie then. Whoever Nathan Hale was, he wasn't entirely human. Well, at least he isn't weak anymore like all of us are in the our current states. Ah dear. So I'm on my own lonesome again, I see. Out of all the people who could help me, just walk in this building unassisted, it's just crazy. <laughs> okay. I mean, if this was happening in real life, you, you sort of want to—you'd be interested to see this place as if it's a one-off. If you're going to get killed along your journey anyway, you might as well see a bit of something going on that's weird. You wouldn't just like hide away in a sort of shack somewhere. I mean, electricity would would have probably died out by now, and you'd be bored at home, so you might as well go out, venture out, and see what's going on. Bloody hell! Where am I supposed to be going now? Plenty of operating tables around here, but there's not enough humans being captured. I thought there'd be loads of them around here. Or zombie fires or something. I'll probably see a pen soon where they're all stored. It probably looks to something similar to McDonald's where they slaughter the cows or something. Okay, whoa. Ah, oh, the biters. But, oh. Actually, the biters don't scare me as much as the Chimera, because the Chimera just. I mean, it's so easy to kill the biters, but these Chimeras are buggers. Take so many bullets to the face before you fall down. Look at that. I actually fell down alright, actually. Always more. There's more of these bloody people. I wish there was more, but there's not much variation in enemies in this one at the moment for me. You fill up these chimeras, they're just buggering me off now. <laughs> it's just really annoying. Yeah, actually, the movement in this game isn't too bad. It's a bit robotic, obviously, compared, a bit stiff compared to the. Um, the other game, the third one, but it's it's still fluid enough. It's a bit, I say, clunky, but I can deal with it. All these balls, I don't want to shoot them because they, they blow up in your face, don't they? Was that a lift in here? No, it's just a spare room for when someone comes around and visits. Yeah, okay, see, so I shot that, and bang, it's gone off. Uh, body, and okay. Da, 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 da. I'd be like this in real life actually, I wouldn't 
find my way out of a paper bag. Okay, I'm, I found my way out. <laughs> Can always rely on enemies. Oh dear, I need to regenerate. Okay, I can't. I'm down to one. Oh dear. Just went under the two then, that annoyed me. Oh, cafeteria. What have we got for lunch? Oh, some health. That's handy. Only 25%. That's a joke, that is. A oh, submarine door. Can we get through that? No more. Fans, fans. Oh, for goodness sake, you switch. I like these old fashioned switches. I mean, forget computer consoles. That is brilliant. I'd have one of those switches any day of the week. Imagine having one of those to open your front door instead of using an old, like, door key. That'd just be fantastic. Oh, having a meeting. Oh, look at those body slappers. What are they call them things? I don't know. Oh, this is wonderful. I like this bit. Oh, I don't like that bit. I mean, it's not the graphics that's wonderful, it's just the idea of this. This, like, centre where they're just transforming humans into the Chimera. That's, that's what's interesting about it. It's just dark. It's all about your imagination at the end of the day. Whoa, what they're doing? What they're doing behind closed doors? And there's plenty of closed doors. Plenty of different individuals here who all look the same. Chimera look the same, but... Oh, you little bugger. What are these? Are they being, like, aborted at birth or something? Why are they different from the normal Chimera? I don't know. I have to find that out. For goodness sake. Whoa! Stop feasting on me. I'm not an open cart buffet, whatever you want to call it. All you can eat, that's it. Whoa. The little mind things, the lights on. Bloody hell, they're quick. I prefer those than the bloody other ones I saw. I don't know, on the third game, they had them, but I suppose they were protector bots, weren't they? Clones, or whatever they're called. Drones, or I don't know what they were called on that thing. But on here they look more like more like mines. That's because they are, I suppose, aren't they? Well, the bloody wild west up there, the bloody wood everywhere. Ah, the Rossmore. I like using these shotguns at long ranges, as you probably saw on my last series I did on the Resistance 3 when I was using a shotgun to fire about a mile away. <laughs> and I wonder why I didn't hit anybody. I was just like peppering out bullets everywhere, and I wasn't getting very far at all. Oh, I shouldn't have shot that either. Should have just whacked it one. Never mind. Bloody hell. I like using a shotgun on these things, that's cool. That's nice. They blow up well as well. It's probably something hidden under the stairs, but never usually is when you when you expect to find something anyway. All bloods were going the right way here. Cause all windy this is. Oh bloody hell, you know they're gonna pop out, don't you? Well that was close. Health is there any health? Yes, there's plenty. Like nectar cans. They gave me 50 health, that's that's generous of them. Must be coming to right to the, the climax of this now. Oh. Always hiding little oh bloody hell, they're everywhere. It's like they've had time to devise a plan since I've been gone so long. Oh. I look at my health one more and that's it, the mine got me. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what is that chicken wire down there? That's nice. I like the chicken wire. That's good. I like to make my floors that chicken wire at home actually. I don't have carpet, just have chicken wire. You can see through to the foundations. That'd be fantastic, that would. Oh dear, there's mines everywhere again. How many times will I have to replay this bit? Let's, let's find out. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I must pinch myself. Because I can't believe I'm still existing. So over there. No, we know what's over there, don't we? Let's just go up and cause some mayhem. Oh, I need to pick all this up again. Why can't I just save that attribute at least? I, mean, I know we died and we restarted him, but can it just save those certain things? Instead of having to go around and picking everything up again. That annoys me. Now I'm going to whack it one. That's it. That's what you should do. And you can't draw that. I already did that uh, forklift simulator as well. I reviewed that. It was from 2009. But I just love simulators, so I thought I'd do the forklift truck one. So I don't need to drive that one right now. What's going on? We know what's going to go on mines. That's it, you've got to get right to the mines. There's two down here. You've got to jump down there to set them off. I'm just going to run through again, because there's no point trying to waste ammo on them things. Okay, lovely, I don't need it. Because I'm still healthy. What the hell? Yeah, little buggers. Alright, yeah, they remind me of... 
Oh dear, what does that remind me of? That remind me of some enemy. Ah, oh, bloody hell, what's all this? More ammo and health or whatever, I don't know. Ammo, good. They're like bulg, aren't they? Yeah, that's what they are. The regenerators here. Oh, it survived. There's another one there, isn't there? I can hear something. Something there. Ah, you little git. I knew you was hiding there, you little bugger. For goodness sake, die. It's, oh, it makes you laugh. They fall over and they get up again. It makes you think they're dead. It's a great idea. I like that effect. It falls you into thinking you're safe. And then, ah, just walk around. Oh, bloody hell, nearly got died. Nearly got died. Great use of language, that is. And ah, moving on. Trash cans, trash cans. Ah, bloody things. Uncle Festa. Come on, Uncle Festa. Whoa, he nearly got me. Unless they're like chimeras that when they turn feral after not having something to eat or something or they don't have enough kills they turn on you. They just want to eat anything. It's like some like, uh, I don't know, vampire films. When they can't feast on anybody they just turn into feral vampires and they just run in the shadows. And, oh, horrible beasts they turn into. Maybe that's what the chimera do. Or they're inbred uh, chimeras. So in, some inbred human beings came here and that's how they turned out. Who knows? Well, there's a lot of destruction around here. I mean, I don't know I've caused half of it, but... Oh, balls. Is this a puzzle? Nah, it can't be. No, it's not portal, is it? I think in all these balls there, I've got to move them about and create a little door to walk through. But no, I don't. Okay, I have to think about this. Where am I going now? Oh, here we go, there's a little button there, what else is there? Anything else around here? Is there any point in making this little area, really? I don't think there was, was there? <sighs> I was hoping there'd be something hidden around here. Oh, that's a nice bit map over there, I like that. That's just a flat wall over there. That's not a bad rendering. Okay, let's, let's appease these bark guys, I'm going to say buggers. And let's go. All defences, I thought it was defence, it's just stairs, isn't it? No mines? No, they're them balls that blow up when you shoot them. Okay, and there's mines coming up, yes. Mind yourself now. Oh dear. Oh, I do like the bases of the mines, they look quite mo well modelled, don't they? They look nice, I do. That's one of the best models I've seen in this game so far. Yeah, I, li I do like it when you can smash things about a bit like that, though. Let's break crates and wood, I just love doing that. Got that right in this game. So if they put that into the third one more and driving vehicles, that'd be fantastic. The conversion center was built on top of an old fish cannery. Oh great! So we're going to have sort of dodgy fish. Bloody hell! Oh, I'm not surprised. Eventually turning them into one of the Doesn't matter if it's outside in, it's still gonna be bad, isn't it? Simply speed up the process. Oh, they're gonna tell us about these ones that bite you, they don't, do they? Conversion are right in the midst of it now. Come in. I'm seeing more hybrid patrols now. They must know we've escaped. Be careful. <laughs> oh fantastic. Come on, I know what's happening to these feral ones. What are they turn feral for? Maybe that question would be answered. If I played this like on a few more episodes, but like I say, I think I'm just going to call it a day. Just, just do a few more minutes on this game. Oh. Yeah, because look at that, it's just ridiculous. How many bullets are going into him there, and he's not falling over. This is like the beginning of the game so far, and this is just going to get intensely difficult, isn't it? Yeah, I just, just doesn't excite me enough, this one. I mean, it would have done, tell you what, I would have been way into this if I played this when it came out on the in the, like, the beginning with the hype and everything and thinking oh look a new first person shooter but as like I say I didn't buy my console till really late then I sort of ruined this because when you play the latest version of this and then you go back to the original you just think oh, I can't be bothered now it's like clunky the graphics are not as good uh, the story actually it's interesting to know what happens on the story yeah? I might just watch other people's videos and find out what's the story actually happened in this game that's what I'm going to do I still want to know what's going to go on. I'll just look at Wikipedia and read up on it. 
I don't know what the outcome is. I'll probably I'll have a quick go at like the second one of this as well to see how it's improved between the, the that one, this one and the third one. That'd be quite good. That's a water flume. Look at that. I want to go on the water flume. Bloody hell! I haven't got an inflatable rim with me though. Well, unless I've got a swollen ass, but let's not go into that. Oh, I want to go that water flume. A big time. Nice colour. I'll tell you what, I want to be converted into one of them, I mean. Oh, second phase. Oh, lovely, that's beautiful. That is just beautiful, man. <laughs> oh, we're all going to be hit by a virus soon, by a super bug, so this, is, this will probably be better. Oh, the most beastly creatures can take months to create. I like that. <laughs> okay, so at least we know how it all works now, kind of. Yep, yeah, okay. That's intrigued me enough anyway. I've got a few questions answered. At least I know the origins of them all now, the Chimera, kind of. They're sort of mating rituals. <laughs> Not. Picking up loads of ammo, so we're we'll going to have another boss battle, or our first boss battle I should say, if something's going to happen. Oh here we go, bloody thing, scorpion, spiders. Oh they're pretty easy to slaughter, I'm not going to waste any um, too much on them. I like how they fall apart and float around and rock and roll and that's brilliant. Bit of weeds, nice. Ok where are they coming from? Oh over the wall. It's always from the wall isn't it, a high wall as well. It's like they know, they can hear me, they must have good hearing. Or they just got radar built in. Oh, good dear. All full health. I'm doing well then. That's unusual for me. And, uh, okay. Oh, what the hell is this? That looks good. Sort of armour, is it? Oh, cocoons. Or is it like a chocolate egg factory? We're in Cadbury's, aren't we? They make the chocolate outside. Health and safety hygiene issues there, isn't there? Oh dear. Ooh, some of them are turn mouldy. Hanging out in the air, I suppose it will. Okay, this doesn't look good. They look like they're in patrol everywhere around here. Whoa, that's a bit much, wasn't it? Yeah, shoot the balls, yay, that makes them fly everywhere. Okay, tactics. Do I have any? Do I need any? Oh, look at the spaceship down there. I want to ride that thing. Oh, that's wonderful. I like the colours. Ah, uh, the thrusters, whatever it is. Oh, I love the colours there. Bloody hell, they're busy down here, aren't they? Wow. It's nice you can use them as a ramp, that's good thinking, that. Oh, bloody hell, why do I want to do that, though? Jeez, I've blown the ball, I'm not going to blow them up, so they smash me in the face, won't I? That was a bad idea, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Good. Okay, death time. Time for your death. Are you ready for death? No, are you ready for your bed? Now go lie in it. Ooh, it's like the moment of pod racers. That pod racer games. That Star Wars. Ooh. Okay. A bit of grimson around here, isn't it? Okay, spew his guts up. Okay, where's the other one? There's someone else shooting. And he's round there. Yes, he is. Am I going to survive this one? I don't think I will. If there's one more going to hit me, I'm dead. Oh, that's alright. So where do I go now then? Oh, for goodness sake, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, bloody git. Always, there's always one more, isn't there, to get? And that's the downfall, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thank you and good night. And oh, that's really annoyed me. That save point, I've got to do it right from the beginning again. There's so much to kill as well, and when you fail, it's just annoying. Now, I think I'm just going like, to make it a day on this game. I've had a bit of fun, I've seen a bit of the story, enough to intrigue me anyway, to know what's happened and how it all started. I just look on Wikipedia, I think the rest of it, and I'll move on to the second one. <laughs> now I'm not going to play this all the way through, I haven't got the patience for this. I mean, it would have excited me in the days, I said, but now as I played the third one, I'll support the first one, really. But uh, never mind, I don't usually do that with games, I usually play them in order, but there you go, just the way things work out sometimes. I'm glad I tried this game out though, I mean I've asked people about it and they said oh yeah you probably won't get on playing with the first one after playing the first, uh, second and third one. 
But I never take someone's words for it. I always try and play them myself and see what happens. You know, we've all got a brain, haven't we? Just even watching these videos, I'd say try it yourself. If you haven't tried this game, you might like it. I mean, the main thing about it, there's no flaws. I haven't seen any bugs or glitches. Just nothing. It's been really nice. It's been as smooth as anything. They were really responsive to the enemy as well. I'm quite happy about that. Just a bit too tough, though. I mean, how many bullets do they take to the face to kill them? They're going to fall over, they're going to die, then they get up again. That's what annoys me. But it's well executed, though. So I think it's a solid game. Okay, um, thank you for watching Meddlers, and there'll be an update real soon. On a different game, though, of course. Goodbye. Um, so still <laughs> I'm not